working class is really what kind of runs America, and I think that this is an attack on them, and I think that's important that we preserve our rights. Public workers are already paid less than people in the private sector. Already, without cutting our benefits, without cutting our pensions, we are already paid less. I'm from Milwaukee, so I know a lot of people from you know that I grew up with who are union people. So I just I don't want to see you know their lives get ruined by this. I'm getting an eight thousand dollar pay cut in a week without without anybody asking. It's just done. Nobody gets to negotiate. what's best for the schools and the children they work in, and Scott Walker is trying to take that away from us. I disagree with dissolving the union. I don't disagree with paying more for our benefits. I understand we all have to tighten our belts. This is nothing but an attempt to take out the public sector employees and the private sector unionized employees after that. The whole country's budget needs to be addressed. I mean, we can't keep going on, but we have to do it slower with more thought. He has not come to the table. The unions have requested all week long to meet with Governor Walker. He's completely 100% ignored us. But why not let them talk about it? And if you won't listen to people, it's because you're afraid, you know? So that's, that's what really frustrates me about that. I believe in a government that negotiates and has give and take. We elect people in a democracy to represent the people. We are not being represented. I kind of grew up in a working class family and I don't, I don't want to see uh, our rights get taken away. I don't agree with union busting. I don't agree with rescinding the right to collective bargaining. I don't believe in cutting people's pay without their negotiating it. I think Obama had a strong message the other night when he stated that he felt this was a direct assault on unions, and I think that's a great compliment coming from the president. This is the heart of America right now. This is ground zero. This isn't just about teachers or firemen. It's not just about state workers. It's about all workers. I mean, our bargaining rights are really important, our pensions are important, our benefits are important, but we need to look at what's really going wrong with this economy. How much are these wars costing us? How much are the corporate bailouts costing us? How much is corporate greed costing us? This is what's destroying our economy, not the benefits of our public workers. The unions raise everyone's boat in this country. They are the standard by which all job wages and conditions ultimately are measured. And if we let the governor and the Koch brothers and the billionaires wipe out the unions, all of our job conditions will suffer. Democracy is under attack. 